In this video, I am gonna show you how to apply a pattern on a white t-shirt realistically in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. So guys you can see, I already have an image that contains a girl wearing white t-shirt. Our target is to impose a pattern on the t-shirt in a way that somebody hardly identify the manipulation. To make this happen, we need a pattern image. First we need to select the area of t-shirt, then we will mask the pattern image on the t-shirt selected area. And then, we will use layer adjustments, blending modes, and some other photo manipulation techniques. So first of all, we have to make the selection of t-shirt. Different people use different tools to make selection. You can use AI selection brush, polygonal lasso, or pen tool to make a selection. If you don't know how to make selections, you can watch our other tutorials that are dedicated to how to select object, change background and much more. You can find the link in description. But my favorite tool to make a selection is pen tool. Pen tool is very effective if you want to select an object precisely. Before starting selecting the object, zoom the artboard so much that you can detect edges, control mouse movement and pen tool strokes effectively. We have done with the selection. Now we have to save this selection as a file on our hard drive. The reason behind saving the selection is that we have to select and deselect the t-shirt area many times. We have already created tutorials on how to create and save a pattern fill in affinity. You can find the link in video description. For this tutorial, we have a pattern fill, already saved as a style preset that we will use in this tutorial. Draw the rectangle in the way that it should cover entire t-shirt area. Now go to styles and choose the pattern fill preset we have already saved. Click on gradient fill icon. It will enable us to customize pattern fill. We can rotate pattern, change pattern orientation, and density of pattern. Select the pattern layer and rasterize it. Now we need to reload the saved selection. Make sure that the pattern layer is selected. Now go to upper option bar, select and use option invert pixel selection. This will select entire non-t-shirt area, and we need to delete it. 
we can delete it with Ctrl and X key in Windows, or Command and X key in Mac. To work on white t-shirt, we will disable the pattern layer temporarily. Make sure that t-shirt area must be selected. To do so, we again invert the selection. Our main aim to apply different layer adjustments is to make white t-shirt folds more and more prominent. We can see that dragging curve graph downward increases the visibility of t-shirt's dark areas. Another layer adjustment we apply is shadows and highlights. The third adjustment we apply is Posterize, with Blending Mode Linear Burn. Now we will rearrange the layer order, and put the curve layer on top of all other adjustments. This is the perfect time to make pattern layer visible, and blend it with white t-shirt. We set Pattern Layer Blending Mode Linear Burn. It seems that Linear Burn Blend makes pattern extra vibrant, and we need to make it more natural. To make this happen, we will slightly reduce the opacity of Pattern Layer. Adding to our efforts to get best layer adjustment result, we again reorder the adjustment layers and put the posterized layer behind the shadow layer. You can see how different layer adjustments affect pattern blending with white t-shirt. Our next task is to make t-shirt collars needlework contrasting. Burn tool is the best way to darken some specific areas of a colored layer. Masking a layer adjustment is another way to apply adjustment with brush tool. But here I am using burn tool and it is fine. Apply the brush on the needlework. Hold the mouse left button and drag it over the areas where you want to apply the burn effect. You can adjust the opacity of brush according to your requirements. To make pattern impose more realistic, we need to distort pattern according to t-shirt folds. To make so, we will utilize mesh warp tool and apply mesh warp on pattern layer.
It seems that the collar area still needs some burn brush application. Final step is applying some drop shadow around t-shirt. Drop shadow makes edges more realistic and creates folding effect on pattern blend. Tutorial is almost done. In the end we can apply some burn brush on the neck area. It will add more depth to t-shirt collar area. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like the video and keep visiting our channel for useful graphic design tutorials and updates.